Yo, welcome back. The business end of the World Cup commences. Goals galore in the group stages. Patrick and Bomber is the top scorer. The final 16 teams sit in the following brackets. This afternoon we see France take on Spain, the world champions versus the underachievers. And Brazil take on Portugal, who narrowly qualified for the second round. And we kick off the knockout stages at the Jeju World Cup Stadium. The world champions France take on a talented Spanish side that here tonight could shake the burden of the underachievers doesn't get any easier the winners will face either Portugal or Brazil buzzing atmosphere here in Jeju the festival of football comes to life in the knockout stages to Pedro forces Bartes into an early save here's the foreign Morientes with a big ball in and Raul what a start for Spain Dare I say it, a perfect start. Raul of Real Madrid, the Spanish Prince, could start the Armada into the lead. An unchallenged cross from Morientes and Desai is beaten in the air. Here comes Thierry Henry, France trying to figure out a response. Wonderful save from Casillas from his club mate. Here comes Di Pedro. Di Pedro unchallenged in a ton of space. Forces a save out of Bartes. Corner to Spain, it's found Raul, and it's Raul with the brace! It's been given as a long goal, Bartes has flapped at the wind and out the window goes France's chances of defending their world crown. Le Bleu's world championship defence is diminishing right before the eyes of the coach Roger Lemaire. Zinedine Zidane down the line to Trezeguet, pulls it back to Petit. Henri turns inside the defender, Puyol in the David Trezeguet to pull one back. France can score and Spain's lead has been reduced. A crazy start to the first knockout stage fixture. Three goals in 15 minutes, Thierry Henri down the line with a low cross and Trezeguet taps it into an empty net. Little right to first time ball in looking for Henri and he just couldn't steer it on target with the noggin. Ah. Trezeguet doesn't fancy holding it up. Vieira with a cocky flick on that may pull back to haunt him. Morientes one on one with Bartes when he beats him to it. Ruben Baraka out smarts Petit. Long ball over the top looking for Fernando Morientes. Forces another save off the near post by Bartes. Joaquin is a hard cross looking for Valeron and flappy Fabian Bartes with a save. Spain are deadly in the air. Oh, and Le Beuf has just got enough on that to cause some confusion in that French pin on the area. Vieira with the head of clearance. Henri trying to commit some form of a counter attack. Trezeguet, Vieira. Petit, what decision will he go for? Looking for Henri. Cassius wipes him out. No penalty given. That is close. Half time here in St. Aubrey Po, the JG World Cup Stadium. And what a first half of football. Marcel Desailly has been dispossessed like a baby in Rui Maraca. Plants that securely in the bottom. Right hand corner and Spain extend the lead. Spain lead by two goals in the round of 16. The clearance is as far as Vicente Lizarazzo. He's looking long for Zidane and he beats him to it. Oh and Trezeguet fails to repeat the trick. That pulled the goal back for France in the first half. Here's Patrick Vieira looking for McCoud, the substitute. McCoud cuts inside and it's not hard enough. Casillas catches. Zidane's corner kick finds McCoud. Oh, and he can direct it on target. Hope is slipping away for the French. Dribble C say low cross. Oh, and Henri is pipped out by Puyol. Ah, oh, and he couldn't capitalize. McCoud, he's tripped. He's tripped by Joaquin. Zidane, ah, oh, just couldn't direct it on target. 
Here comes Jubil Cissé, finds now, it's the time to score. Cissé, pass one, tries again. How does he miss? It has to be said that La Rouge, Spain with a better team. The world champions couldn't sink the Spanish Armada today. France have a long flight back to Paris. Welcome back to Japan. The Niigata Stadium plays host to the Portuguese derby. It's Brazil, the heavy favourites versus Portugal. The semi-finalists of Euro 2000 who are very optimistic heading into this tournament struggled for the first two fixtures of the group stage. They've scraped their way out thanks to Nuno Gomes and Paletta. Brazil who are very wobbly against Costa Rica on match day two have still managed to provide their fair share of excitement. Very promising. The first real attacking move of the Celestial. Cleberson has found Rivaldo with a Rabona. Rivaldo with a bit of trickery. Showboating here in Niigata. He takes the corner, seeking out Ronaldo. Victor Bayer drops it. It's a hesitant clearance from Portugal to... Roy Costa marauding forward. Low ball across to Paletta. Shot plucked out of the sky by Marcos. Ronaldo on two goals in this World Cup. Ronaldinho with the most assists has found Rivaldo. That's probably why. Oh, there's a comfortable save for Victor Bayer. Training gown stuff. Conte Shaw with enough time to ponder the cross. Jao Pinto with a heavy head. Arbel Xavier's cross. Figured out by Brazil. Roque Jr. with a long header out to Ronaldinho. Here comes Rivaldo. And the Brazilian counter attack commences. Oh, 1 1 2. Ronaldo. 1 1 with Victor Bayer and Rivaldo. Applies the finishing touch. It's taken them 14 minutes. But Brazil finally lead against Portugal. Which is how scary Brazil are. It's a counter attack from one end of the pitch. Rocco Jr. commenced it. Ronaldo had first dibs on goal, but it was Rivaldo with the money shot into an empty net. Portugal just needs to hang on and regroup at half time. But Cleverson has found Rivaldo over the top. Rivaldo looking for the lob. Victor Bayer has fucked it up. These pitches will never open up and swat you hold, but how Victor Bayer begs. For an alternative reality where that happens, that would have been an emphatic lob. But Victor Bayer performs his worst. Norris Curias impression here in the 2002 World Cup. Well, what would have been an uncertain lead has turned into a horror show for Portugal. Brazil have gone from unconvincing to comfortable. Figo looks to lead the rescue mission for Portugal. Jao Pinto again with the heavy head. What's the matter, man? Ronaldo trying to shake off Xavier and he's dispossessed by Fernando Couto. Portugal come forward, Petit marching up the pitch. Five shot, Pinto cuts his side, Lucio, and there he is. He's got one. Goal number three of the number eight veteran, Jan Pinto. Taking him a little while, but Portugal approved. They can score against their favourites. Petit with the upstanding sprint into no man's land has found Jao Pinto who converts. Barbosa racing this for Bo Carlos on the byline. It's still Barbosa. Wins the cross. Oh, a Paletta, that's cruel. That is cruel. Corner kick absorbed by Brazil. Ronaldinho with a bad clearance. Oh, and how the hell did nobody get on the end of that low cross? Here comes Pedro Barbosa. Standing up against Luciano, and he's found Paletta. Forces a save out of Marcos, and it's a valuable one. Brazil are under Portuguese pressure. Roque Jr. clears their header, Jao Pinto looking long, and he's just skimmed the roof of the net. He's found Roy Costa, who just about gets a flick from Marcos. Step over season from Ronaldo. Forces a save on Victor Bayer. Here is Caputo, three minutes left. Caputo, long side of the net. Should have gone for the low cross. Safe to say there was three minutes of ease for Brazil. Rivaldo was an inconvenience for Portugal where it counted. But Luis Figo and Antonio Oliveira's men go home. And the first two matches of the second round are in the books. Spain are into the quarterfinals for the first time since USA 94. They take on the runners up of the 98 World Cup. Brazil in quarter final number one in Ulsan. And this is where you leave your comment.
Who qualifies to the semi-final, Spain or Brazil? Can you imagine either side in the final in Yokohama? Thank you all around the world for reading my diary of a tournament. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in episode 5 when Germany take on Sweden in Shizuoka Live.